Remembering the master class that Ugo Benelli was to give that afternoon we spoke to him, I asked if, when he started out, there were classes of this kind. It, it, it don't exist, the master class, but uh, certainly we, we went to visit important teacher to have advice about singing. In my case, I, I was very lucky because I win the competition in La Scala, and in this competition, three people win, Fiorenza Cossotto, Ugo Benelli, and Bianca Maria Casoni, two mezzo and un tenore. And so we had the luck to have one of the greatest uh, musicians uh, of our time, Maestro Giulio Confalonieri, who was the director of the um, school of La Scala. And so every week we had to study with different people, but once every week he came to attend to a lesson and he gave advice. For instance, I remember that uh, when I was studying Elisir d'Amore, Una Furtiva Lacrima, I was so pleased of this sad melody. Eh? like crying, you know. Giulio Confalinieri say, ah, you too, you are crying. Now that you are sure about your love, you sing una furtiva lacrima with this sad face. And I was terribly surprised, but it immediately I realized that he was right. So the first lesson was that be begin to start una furtiva lacrima, certainly to think to a wonderful legato, but before to take a breath, a wonderful smile. And if you smile and you begin una furtiva lacrima, the, the people understand that you win the lady, that the lady is in your hand at the end of the opera. And this was the first master class that I received. Another master class I received in Dublin because I was, I, I must say now, I am speaking about the past, I was pretty good in Don Pasquale. And I did also a very good recording that in Gramophone Review, Record and Record, had a wonderful acclaim from very important English uh, critics. But uh, inside I was not happy for two reasons. First of all, because I have not um, recorded the Cabaletta from after Cercherò Lontana Terra, but this is not my fault. It was a fashion of the time that I used to cut part of the opera. But the other mistake was mine, because after listening to the love duet at the end, Torna mia dir che mami, I was terribly surprised because it was not sung in a relaxed way and soft way and love duets. And a crit I did uh, Don Pasquale in Dublin, and one critic, really in this moment I don't remember the name, but I read the critic and he said, yes, Benelli did a wonderful Don Pasquale, but the, like lover, it seems to be a uh, heroic lover, more than a tender lover, something like this they wrote. I, I read the newspaper and the critic and I say, I say yes, she's, uh, she or he, they are right, because uh, it don't sound like a, a love duet. I met a very old tenor friend of mine who did very little role in Dublino. And he told me, dear Benelli, if you want, with a voice like this, if you want, I will teach you how to sing the duet. And at the time I was uh, very proud, so I'm a young uh, torero tenor. <laughs> I said, what do you want? But in any case, uh, it's a good experience to listen to. Maybe it's uh, some good advice. Augusto Pedone told me, no, you, you push too much, you torna mia dir che ma, to be, to be sure to reach the right tone, you, you, you sing in full voice, try a little to do like Skipper. I don't mean to open the sound, but to begin to do, torna mia dir che ma, and I tried with him, one, twice, and I said, yes, and it is easier. But I thought it was dangerous for the voice. And uh, every lesson that we did, it was better and better. Well, I remember the first performance, mm, a good applause at the end of Love Duet. 
but after the lesson of Augusto Pedroni that I did like he teaches me, there was just a few seconds of silence and a very big applause. The biggest applause that I get after this, the love duet. So this was my second master class. We heard some of Benelli's recollections of his first Wexford festivals and Dr. Tom Walsh in the program we did in tribute to Dr. Tom a couple of weeks ago. Benelli, of course, has also worked in Wexford with succeeding artistic directors. And despite the fact that he's now 30 years in the business, he told us that he's as busy as ever in the years to come, going to America, Salzburg and Lineborn. So obviously he has a lot of experience to offer young singers and would scarcely be apprehensive heading off to a master class as he was that day. No, I'm not nervous because um, I did before. I did before in Glyndebourne and I did it before in, par in Portugal master class. And to listen um, to young singer, it is not so difficult because uh, always the wrong things are always the same. You can understand immediately the the one who was kissed from God, and this will go far. But uh, mostly of the people, they do all all the poco legato, or they do accent in the last note. This is the is the mistake that they do uh, most uh, mostly. And so Ugo Benelli went off to the Theatre Royal in Wexford early in November to listen to his young singers.